Many immigrants came to British Columbia for economic opportunities, such as mining, farming, and logging. Others came to escape oppression and discrimination. In 1858, a contingent of 600 black settlers arrived in the colony of Vancouver Island at the personal invitation of Governor James Douglas to start new lives. Governor Douglas was himself no stranger to racial prejudice. He was the son of a Scottish sugar planter and a free colored woman from Barbados. As slavery had been abolished in the British Empire in the 1830s, any former slaves were free as soon as they landed here. The Fraser River gold rush was just beginning and some joined the thousands of gold seekers trying to strike it rich. Others, such as Mifflin Gibbs and Peter Lester, opened stores in Victoria. John Dees, a tinsmith, established a salmon cannery on the Fraser River where Dees Island is today. Many of the newcomers dreamed of owning their own land and started farms on the Saanich Peninsula and Salt Spring Island. Charles and Nancy Alexander, once slaves in Missouri, became well-known farmers on the peninsula. In the 1860s, they helped to found and build the first Shady Creek Methodist Church, and Charles Alexander built the pews in the second church. More than a century after the first blacks accepted that invitation from Governor Douglas, two new Canadians, Emery Barnes from Louisiana and Rosemary Brown from Jamaica, became the first black citizens elected to the British Columbia Legislature. An historic plaque at the Shady Creek Church honors the contributions made by black pioneers who came to British Columbia from many nations to help make it what it is today.